Hello girlfriends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jodi and it's great to have you join me again this week. So this week I am doing a viewer's choice. This recommendation was by Lee W. And I've actually had a fair amount of people recommend this and one of my mom's good friends speaks very highly of these products. And we are doing none other than LUS. And I have the three step system here. And so I have already applied my shampoo and conditioner and then I will be applying this all-in-one styler for you today. I did also get the gel, and so I will be applying that at a later date, and I'll also be recording that and trying to put like a side-by-side, -side, a split comparison so you can see later on in the video. So hopefully that works out according to my plans, but let's just get into this video. Okay, so like I said, I've already washed my hair with the shampoo and conditioner, but let's just get into the claims of the shampoo. This sulfate-free light lather formula gently yet effectively cleanses your scalp and hair, infused with the right amount of shea butter and moringa oil to leave your hair feeling clean and moisturized with every wash. It's color safe and great for all curl types. Directions say to apply to wet hair and massage gently. Rinse well for best and for best results, follow with the Love Your Curls conditioner. So that's what I did. Step two is this ultra hydrating and detangling formula will leave your curls feeling extremely soft without weighing them down. Infused with the shea butter and moringa oil to moisturize the curl cuticle and to help repair dry damaged hair. This is color safe and great for all curl types. The directions say to apply to clean wet hair from root to tip and leave on for three to five minutes. Add some water and gently comb through with a wide tooth comb. Rinse thoroughly with cool water. So my thoughts on these two products. One is, let's just start out with what I noticed first is opening them. They have an interesting opener. I don't know if that's a word, but you just press down on here and it pops up. And obviously you're having it upside down, squirts through. It's great, I like it. It makes it so that when your product is running low, you know, you don't have to try to fight to try to get it all shook down to the bottom and stuff like that. So very handy, I like that. And then for the shampoo, I did think this was, as I said, a a very good cleanse. It didn't strip my hair, but yeah, it felt like it, it really cleaned it. It had a great lather, really good lather. I didn't need much, which is, I usually tend to go a little heavy handed on my shampoo. So the fact that I didn't need much speaks volumes for the shampoo. I really like it. Then for the conditioner, this conditioner is just a really good, rich, creamy conditioner. I did put it on my hair. I, you know, did the rest of the shower things that you do. And then I went to detangle, kind of put a little bit more water. Detangling wasn't quite what I expected maybe based on the claims of this. I do finger detangle. I don't usually use a white tooth comb or a detangling brush in the shower. It's just, it's just what I do. But it, my hands were able to run through and I didn't really have a problem. I just didn't have the super slip I was thinking it might have, but it does allow you to detangle in the shower. I will say though, however, when I rinse this out, I did not use cool water to rinse out. It's just not something I, I thought of, to be truthfully honest. I had read the directions before using this, but I just didn't think to use the cool water when it came down to it. And I don't really like to use cool water when rinsing out. It's just, especially, I mean, it's okay in the summertime, but if it's in the wintertime, forget it. I'm not using cool water. So now we're ready for the all-in-one styler. This is step three in the system. This all-in-one styler is to repair and hydrate and style in one easy step. No stickiness, crunch, cast, or residue. Just healthy, soft, beautiful, enhanced curls, customized specifically for curly hair. The directions say that this product is activated by water and must be applied to wet, clean hair. Section hair, wet thoroughly, and add product. Rake through and smooth. Squeeze out excess water and scrunch. You can air dry or diffuse. So. I have my hair very wet, as, as you can see, definitely wet. And so we're just going to work on applying this. All right, and for a product shot, oh, I got, I got prime that or something. She ain't going down. Okay. All right, for a product shot. That's what it looks like it is running down my hand bit here. Okay. So I'm going to put, I think, two pumps on per side. We're just going to see how that works. 
it says to rake through and smooth and so I am going to do that I'm not going to use my brush like I usually do I'm going to follow the directions as much as I can for this and just see where it leads me since this is my only styler I'm making sure to get this up towards the top as well it's going in very well it's very lots of slip I guess is what I want to say but that could also be attributed to the fact that I have lots of water in my hair Okay, I did two pumps now for this side. And because this is my only styler, I'm trying to break, first of all, try to break my hair away from my scalp a little bit. Because this is my only styler, I think I am going to do as I usually do and flip upside down and scrunch a bit. I may add just a little bit more, like another pump too. All right, I did grab just another pump. Go mainly work on smoothing this and then scrunching. Maybe I'm gonna rake some because I just feel like I feel like my hair isn't as smooth as I want it to be. Like right in here. Do you see that? That's gonna cause some pro oops. Like right in here, do you see that? That's gonna cause some problems later. Maybe if I get that more wet. Okay, so I have the all-in-one styler in my hair and I will diffuse in a minute. I just want to go over one more part of the claims of these products. They are all free. They are free of sulfates, silicones, parabens, paraffin, phthalates, propylene glycol, DEA, mineral oil, gluten, and synthetic dyes. So those are the claims on all three products. I didn't check out if the gel is free of those as well, but anyways. This is the all-in-one styler wet and I'll show you the diffused results. All right, curl friends, I am back with my hair fully diffused. I will just make a quick note. You've probably noticed my lighting has changed. I apologize for that, but we had some dark storms coming through. So I just kind of rigged up lighting as best as I could. I really don't have a good quality lighting system, which is something I need to work on. But in the meantime, thank you for bearing with me. So this is my hair fully diffused and with that all-in-one product, from Lus, and this is what it's looking at. This is before I have scrunched out the crunch. Now there was, my hair didn't have a cast before I started drying it, but as I got probably about 50% dry and more, I started to notice a slight cast. Now there isn't much, it's just, just ever so slight. So I do have my Verb Ghost oil that I will use to scrunch it out, and let's just get to that. Okay, I have fully scrunched out the crunch and I have put my rings back on and now I'm ready to give you my first impression thoughts because this is a first impression for me. I didn't state that before. I like to do that for my um, viewer's choice for whatever reason. I've just, I started it that way. So I'm going to be consistent with my viewer's choice and just leave it as a first impressions as much as I can. So I am going to show you again what this looks like. I'll show you the back as well. Okay. 
So for my first impression thoughts on this so far, I am pleasantly surprised. And I love the shampoo. I like the conditioner. But this all-in-one styler, it has me very surprised. I, I don't know why I always put so little confidence in these like all-in-one stylers or these cream gel type stylers. This is not described as a cream gel, but kind of reminds me of the consistency of one, sort of, and the way it leaves a slight cast on my hair. But this is, this is giving me good curl definition, and I feel a hold in here without even having the gel. And I, I like that. So I do, as I said, I do have the gel. So this is the gel, though, that I will be using at a later date from now, but like I said, I'll be showing you side by side. This also says it's free of all those other ingredients that were listed, that I listed off for you on the other products. So yes, I am loving this so far and we'll see how it holds up for day two. And then I will come back at the very end after I had done the experiment with the gel and give you my final thoughts on that as well. So keep watching. Okay, Curlies, I am back with my day two results using the Lust three-step system. And this is the all-in-one styler that I used and I'm pretty pleasantly surprised. This has held up really well and I'll show you a back headshot real quick. Okay, as I was saying, this held up really well because yesterday there was quite a bit of rain. I was out in it a lot through work and getting groceries. I mean, during the heaviest, I did have an umbrella, but there was quite a few times I was out when it was just kind of a lighter rain. And so, like I said, I am very impressed with how this held up. I feel like it has done pretty comparable with, um, for one and done. So let's see with the, maybe the catwalk. This might be a little bit better than the catwalk, I would say. I have a little bit more curl definition, I feel like, and I just, I feel the hold better. So, but it's also a little bit hard to compare too because my hair was, when I used the catwalk products, my hair was a lot longer. So my hair just curls differently when it's shorter. And I will say though, that with all the rain that we had yesterday, I did get some stretched out wonky bits and some frizz. So like you could really see the frizz on this side more and some some crazy pieces are just on the verge of frizzing just kind of weird so that's why i just wear it on this side now and it's all better okay so you've seen the day one and day two results with this just one product styler and then on the side i've shown the day one and day two results for the gel as well so i will come back future me will come back when I have done the day two results of the gel and give you my final thoughts for this whole Lust brand. So I'll see you then. So for my thoughts overall on the Lust brand and these two stylers in particular, remember the first two days I did just this all-in-one styler that they originally came out with. And then the last two days I have used this all-in-one styler in conjunction with the gel. So my thoughts overall, the first two days, I kind of already have given a review of, but I will say I have noticed, and the same goes with this when I use the gel. I felt like both times my hair felt a little producty. And the first time I did it, when I just did this, I didn't say anything about it, I guess, because I was thinking I had just applied too much product. And I apologize, I probably should have said that in my first notes. And when I did use just this product, I did use two pumps on each side and I also glazed a fourth pump kind of over my hair overall as I was scrunching. And then when I went to style with both of these, I used one pump on each side and then I went in with about a dime to nickel sized amount of the gel and just kind of glazed that all over and then scrunched that in. So I personally don't think I used too much product. I could have. Let me know in the comments down below if you have gotten that producty feeling from using Luss at all. I've never heard anyone say that, so maybe it's my own, my own fault, my own application error, but I will say that only literally lasted for the first day each time that I did this. So by day two, for either just the all-in-one styler or when I used the all-in-one and the gel, by day two of those times, my hair felt fine, it felt normal. 
So I don't really know what that was all about, but I have loved my results. I've loved how it has held up and we've had some pretty crazy weather. I have been out in some rain. We've been in some humidity. And so this, these products, both of them have held up really well. I almost feel like I should apologize though to the Lust brand because while I came into it wanting to try it because it's very popular among the curly hair community, but I also came into it with like the most resistance in some ways or not having high hopes for it because as far as I can tell, there are no proteins really in these products, either the wash day or the stylers. And my hair loves protein. My hair thrives on protein from what I've experienced. And so I was like, how is my hair going to react to this? So not only did I just do one time of styling with no protein, I did two wash days styling with no protein. And my hair is still holding up very well. I still have a good amount of bounce and spring back in my curls. And I am liking that. I am very surprised, very pleasantly surprised. And so hands up to Lust, you did it. You knocked it out of the park with these products. I really like them. They are a little bit more on the on the higher price range. I would say I think the some of the products are like $18, $19. And then I believe this gel is like, I take that back. I think this is like $22. I'm not sure what the gel is. I will have all the prices listed above as we go through. But I really think Lust is a great brand and I totally recommend trying them out. I mean, I did not have high hopes for one and done stylers, although I've been surprised every time I do it, but I did not have high hopes for a non-protein one and done styler. And then the gel, I did have a little higher expectation for that. And they came through five stars out of five or 10 out of 10, whatever you want to rate that. This is top notch in my book. So. Have you tried these products? If you haven't, I totally recommend trying them out. Even if it's not something like you want to wash with every day because I completely understand. They, As I said, they are higher end. And if your hair loves protein, you know, maybe give it a break for a little while. But I totally see that these could be great products to incorporate into, you know, your wash and styling routines as you see fit because... I've had phenomenal results and like I said, the weather hasn't been great. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and might as well click the thumbs up and notification if you're still here and have enjoyed this video so far. And until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.